Hi friends, today we're gonna do a great experiment. Now, we have used water in science class a lot of times before. We've used water to prove that air is there. Remember when we kept the cotton ball dry, when we put it into the vial and submerged it in water? The air was inside the vial and the water helped us prove that air is there. We also used water to prove that sound is made by vibrations. Do you remember when we tapped the tuning fork on the table and then put it in the cup of water and the water exploded out of the cup because the tuning fork was vibrating? Today, we're gonna use water in a different experiment. So right now, you can see my cups are empty. All of them are empty, okay? So I have five cups and I'm going to show you what each of them sounds like if I tap on them. They all pretty much sound the same, right? What we're going to do today in our experiment and what you're gonna do at home if your parents say it's okay, is you're gonna use five different cups. If you only have three, use three. If you have more, use more. You're going to use the cups and you're gonna fill them up with a different amount of water. So I'm gonna fill each of my cups up with a different amount of water. Looks pretty good, right? This one has a little bit of water. This one has the most water. Let's see how they sound now that I filled them up with different amounts of water. It kind of sounds like music, doesn't it? Let's listen again. all sound different. What I want you to do now is I want you to fill your own cups up with different amounts of water. Now you don't have to use food dye like I did. That was just something that I wanted you to do so you'd be able to see the amount of water in each cup. But if your parent says it's okay, you can go ahead and do it at home as well. I filled up each one with a different amount of water and what you're gonna be trying to answer today is, how does the amount of water affect the pitch. Remember when we were last in school, we were talking about high pitch sounds when something sounds very high and low pitch sounds when something sounds very low. So how does the amount of water in the cup affect the pitch? Now, if you can't do this experiment at home, you can just watch it again and write your journal entry based off of what you hear in this experiment. All right, my friends, have fun doing the experiment on your own and don't forget to fill out the formative exit ticket.